Please be seated. Good morning and welcome to San Diego State University's 2016 commencement ceremonies in the College of Arts and Letters. I'm Seth Malios, Professor of Anthropology, and, and your commencement Grand Marshal. This is indeed a long-awaited and joyful celebration, but it is also among the most momentous and serious occasions in the lives of these men and women. And so, we ask your most respectful attention for the sake of all graduates and guests who will wish to cherish memories of this day. And now I am pleased to present the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters, Dr. Norma Bouchard. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Candidates for graduation and guests, greetings from the faculty, staff, and administration of the College of Arts and Letters. I declare this commencement now convened. Please rise as the Air Force ROTC Color Guard presents the colors and remain standing for the singing of the American National Anthem led by Miss Courtney Kattengel of the School of Theater, Television, and Film. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. This is a great and memorable moment in the lives, not only of today's graduates, but of you who come to witness their passage and proudly cheer them on. For parents, this means the satisfaction of knowing than 20 or more years of striving and caring, and no doubt, sacrificing for a daughter or son now have reached some closure. For spouses and children, this means some 3,000 hours when a very important member of the family simply had to be left alone. For other relatives and friends, this means recognizing one whom you have loved and admired as one whom you will admire ever, even more. Those of us 
We've also come to know your graduates, congratulate you on your unflinching support and encouragement. You have joined with the faculty and staff of this university in making possible the awarding of these degrees. And for this, I extend our cordial appreciation on behalf of the entire College of Arts and Letters. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Provost and Senior Vice President of San Diego State University, Dr. Chukuka and Wemeka. Thank you, Dean Bouchard. It is my pleasure to introduce the following colleagues and guests in attendance today. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all have been recognized. Audience, please hold your applause until I have introduced everyone. California State University trustee, Ms. Jane Carney. California State University trustee, Mr. Adam Day. SDSU Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Tom McCarron. SDSU Vice President for Research and Dean of Graduate Affairs, Dr. Stephen Walter. SDSU Associate Vice President for Student Affairs, Ms. Antoinette Mabry. SDSU Incoming Chair of the University Senate, Dr. Marcy Borbers Mitchell. Representing SDSU Alumni Association, Mr. Jason Farron. Please join me in welcoming these individuals. You may be seated. And finally, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you President of SDSU, Dr. Elliot Hirschman. Good morning and welcome. It is my great pleasure to join our entire community in congratulating our graduates. I also wish to, yeah, give them a round of applause. I also want to acknowledge the support of many family members and friends who helped make today possible. Congratulations also go to our dedicated faculty and staff who have taught and mentored our students. To our graduates, today is a special milestone. Reaching this milestone has required substantial sacrifice. And in this process, you've grown personally, professionally, and intellectually. And for all of these reasons, we pay tribute to you today. In academic tradition, graduation is also referred to as commencement. Thus, today is a beginning as well as an ending. Today, you are joining a proud tradition of San Diego State University alumni. This tradition is first and foremost one of leadership and service. Our alumni serve our region, our nation, and the entire world by creating and building businesses, teaching the next generation, making scientific and creative contribution, advancing the professions, medicine, engineering, law, and many others, and serving our government and our communities. In every one of these fields, our alumni are innovators, entrepreneurs, leaders. Now at this moment, when our society faces very significant challenges, it's your turn to lead and to serve. And we're certain that the hard work, intelligence, and perseverance that has ensured your success here will ensure your future success and that of our entire society. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, President Hirschman. I now wish to introduce today's commencement speaker. According to the tradition of the College of Arts and Letters, 
Our speaker is selected from the ranks of our retired faculty. Now I would like to introduce to you Dr. Gada Osman, Professor Emeritus from the Department of Linguistics and Asian Middle Eastern Languages. Gada Osman received her doctorate in philosophy Middle Eastern Studies at Harvard University in 2001, and soon after started at San Diego State as a lecturer of Arabic studies. Dr. Osman quickly rose up the ranks to become assistant, associate, and full professor. Dr. Osman designed and developed SDSU Arabic language program offered through the Department of Linguistics and Asian Middle Eastern Languages. She served as chair of the Department of Linguistics and Asian Middle Eastern Languages from 2009 until 2015. She also served as vice chair of the University Senate, senator at large of the University Senate, chair of the Dean Search Committee for the College of Arts and Letters, and director of the Center for Islamic and Arabic Studies. During her 14 years at San Diego State, she taught approximately 2,000 students and was selected as the most influential faculty member by a graduating honor senior uh, three times. She's the author of one book and 18 research articles and has given scores of public lectures and media interviews around San Diego's county. Professor Osman's scholarly impact on the college and the university, along with her passion for teaching, has earned her the well-deserved respect of her colleagues, students, and the San Diego community. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Gada Osman. President Hirschman, Provost Enwemeka, Grand Marshal Malios, university dignitaries, faculty colleagues, College of Arts and Letters graduates, whoa, family and friends of College of Arts and Letters graduates. <laughs> Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank Dean Norma Bouchard and the College of Arts and Letters Commencement Committee for selecting me for this very special honor, and thank you for the kind introduction. I'm also deeply grateful to my husband, my mother, and one of my closest friends, who's really like a sibling to me, for being in the audience today to share this special moment. I would say, that it is a pleasure for me to be standing here with you today, except that I'm not standing, I'm sitting. My sitting here is no small feat. It's coming after three years of very challenging health circumstances. In fall 2013, after months of being pretty much bedridden, I was diagnosed with a congenital heart condition and underwent surgery. The surgery helped a great deal, and at the same time, I had to work hard to rebuild my strength, making discoveries as to what I could and could not do, and how to adjust my life accordingly. One of the most major adjustments I had to make was to switch my career path and leave my position at San Diego State, as carrying out the many tasks of my position, especially teaching, a deep passion of mine, became impossible. Why am I spending so much time talking about myself when we're here today to talk about you and to celebrate your accomplishments? Because I wanted to share this aspect of my life as an illustration of how our lives often combine mixed outcomes about which we have mixed feelings. You are now at a crossroads in your lives where one chapter is coming to an end and another is beginning. 
While you and I would love for our lives to be smooth and uncomplicated, that is not always the case. I would have loved to have been able to tell you that after the acute phase of my illness, I applied myself and I'm now able to do things that nobody thought I could do, but that's not what happened. Instead, I had to first figure out what I could do and then find alternate ways of managing the things I would not be able to do again. In other words, I had to be curious and I had to explore. I then, and we all, at different times of our lives, had to and have to take the challenges along with the times when our lives are flowing more smoothly. And perhaps, if we are curious about those things that are more challenging, if we make a choice to lightheartedly explore them, instead of expecting them to magically change or aggressively wishing them away, we can figure out a way of working with them that opens new possibilities. Just as we as individuals have light sides or positive attributes and shadow sides, attributes that aren't so positive, so does life in general. I may know that a friend of mine is generous, kind-hearted, and deeply caring, while at the same time being aware that he or she can be moody or grumpy. It's not only that I say, well, the good outweighs the bad, but that I can clearly recognize that the more challenging sides are part of the person and I can be engaged with them along with the more positive sides. I want to be able to see that both the challenges and the positives experience them together and explore them both. Curiosity and exploration don't entail settling for what's not right for you. Rather than take, they mean taking a step back and seeing the big picture. They mean that you come to recognize that life comes in a variety of experiences and that everything you encounter adds to your life. We often think that experiences have to be major in order to be significant. But every minor experience is part of the reservoir of your life. So be curious and explore within yourself, in your work, and in your relationship with others. You are part of a generation that emphasizes shifts and versatility. That is a blessing because it gives you empowerment to structure circumstances more to your liking. But it can also be a challenge because it can lead us to think that if something is not to our liking, we should walk away from it instead of perhaps exploring it more, exploring why we feel uncomfortable with it. You will go out into the world and you will encounter opportunities. Some will right away feel like a great fit and others you will right away recognize as terrible for you. In the middle and more frequently are the ones that are more complicated, more nebulous. Can you be comfortable with noticing both the ease and the challenge and experiencing both? Or will you run at the first hint of challenge, the first insinuation that you're a little out of your element, choosing to shun exploration and instead seek an elusive perfection? Can you be curious and explore? Maybe when we explore a little more, we discover that there is a way in which we can make a small shift in something that significantly affects our experience. As we explore, we want to make sure that our shifts and versatility are well informed, not based on one-dimensional superficialities. One way that our tendency to believe in easy answers is captured these days could potentially be seen in our current election season where glib generalizations and sound bites can easily become the norm. And it can be tempting to reach similarly simplistic conclusions ourselves as citizens, including a sense of disempowerment and a temptation to disengage from whatever is not in our very immediate world. In this wider arena too, I encourage you to be curious and to explore more. Be directly involved in your lives as individuals, as citizens, and as human beings. In this election season, voters between 18 and 29 make up 
of voting eligible citizens, 20%, and they are projected to play a pivotal role in the 2016 presidential election. Take the time to reflect. Use your skills and voices as social scientists and as humanists who are taught to think critically and to analyze. Use those skills to explore complexity and nuance. At a time when differences are deeply highlighted, curiosity and exploration will serve you well. As you celebrate this important milestone in your lives, graduates, it is my pleasure to celebrate with you your achievements and to commend your family and friends for their support. I also ask you to make a commitment to them and to yourselves that you will continue to exercise your critical thinking and communication skills that you have honed as humanists and social scientists to interact with the world around you. Now, in what has become a tradition in the College of Arts and Letters, I ask all graduates to please rise. <laughs> Turn to, I have more. The cheering can come in a second. <laughs> Turn to the audience and take the hands of those at your side. So you might want to put down programs and that kind of thing. So turn to the audience, take the hands of those at your sides, and cheer for yourselves and those who supported you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go ahead and put the cheering on pause now, and please have a seat again. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you as you embark on your new paths. Please be curious and explore. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Osman. I now present the incoming chair of the University Senate, Dr. Marcy Bobert Michel. As this day marks for many of you the end of your formal education, it also marks the end of the formal careers of some of your professors. Although they may have relinquished their classrooms, They'll continue their careers as scholars and valued contributors to the university. The faculty, through the University Senate, customarily honors its retiring colleagues with the title of Professor Emeritus. The names of our new Professors Emeriti are included in your program. I'd now like to introduce the distinguished faculty members here today and present on the platform from the College of Arts and Letters. Please rise and remain standing. Edith Benkoff, Professor of European Studies. And of course, Gada Osman, Professor of Linguistics and Asian Middle Eastern Languages. <laughs> On behalf of your students and your colleagues, I thank you for your contributions to San Diego State University and extend our best wishes on this next chapter. It is fitting at this time to pay tribute to the San Diego State University students who have put their educations on hold in order to serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. We also want to thank the veterans who are here today for their service to our nation. Would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you and appreciate your sacrifice. It's also fitting to remember our fellow faculty and students who we lost in the last year. In particular, Efituri Augustine Atiyota from the Department of Political Science. All names appear in the commencement program. Please join me in a moment of silence.
Thank you. I now present Dr. Stephen Welter, Vice President for Research and Dean of Graduate Affairs. Um, we will now proceed to the conferral of doctoral and master's degrees. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is bestowed upon those who have demonstrated an extraordinary knowledge of an academic field and intensive original research. The degree requires coursework equivalent to three years of study, further years of research, and completion of a dissertation in a specialized field. Mr. President, I have the honor to present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. A complete, waiting, a complete list can be found in the commencement program. Candidates and professors, please rise and walk to the podium as your names are called. Su Yan Han, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy and Geography, dissertation advisor, Professor Ming Tzu. Elizabeth Gail Kennedy, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Geography, dissertation advisor, Professor John Weeks. <laughs> Alex Thomas Messina, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Geography, dissertation advisor, Trent Biggs. Jamie Speed Rossiter, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy and Geography, dissertation advisor, Professor Kathleen Farley, and being hooded today by Ariel Levine. <coughs> Juan Yang, uh, candidate of Doctor of Philosophy and Geography, dissertation advisor, Professor Ming Su. Mr. President, these candidates, having completed their doctoral studies, have been recommended by the Graduate Council to receive the Doctor of Philosophy. The Doctor of Philosophy is the highest earned academic degree awarded by universities in the United States. Our participation in this traditional hooding ceremony signifies the exceptional recognition given by the Academy of Higher Learning to students who have earned this degree. Upon recommendation of the faculty, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon you the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please hood our new colleagues. Congratulations, Doctors of Philosophy. Please be seated. The Master of Fine Arts is the highest degree obtainable in various applied studies of the arts. Today we recognize in this special ceremony the MFA candidates who have completed their studies. Mr. President, I have the honor to introduce the candidates for the degree of Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writings. Uh, Hari Aluri. <laughs> Francois Vero. Erica Renee Blunt. Anna Maria Bosch. Elizabeth Ann Bry. Eduardo, Eduardo Marin Covera II. <laughs> Simeon Ben Jepson. <laughs> Carlos Gabriel Kelly.
Kelly Alicia Loponte. Karen Melissa Marujo. Caitlin Rosemary Orin. Jacqueline Marie Phillips. Marie Teresa Redding. Caitlin Brett Rodney. Ronald Oscar Salisbury. Mr. President, these candidates, having completed their studies, have been recommended by the Graduate Council to receive the degree of Masters of Fine Arts. The Master of Fine Arts is the highest earned academic degree awarded in the creative arts. Upon recommendation of the faculty, and by the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Fine Arts with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Would the faculty please hood our new colleagues? Congratulations, Masters of Fine Arts. Please be seated. San Diego State offers the master's degree in 78 programs area, including the arts, letters, and sciences, and in professional areas. Candidates for the master's degrees, please rise and remain standing as your degree is called. Masters in history, please rise. Oh, there we are. Masters in liberal arts. Masters in French. Masters in Philosophy. Masters in Interdisciplinary Studies. M Masters in Latin American Studies. Masters in Spanish. Masters in Linguistics. Masters in Rhetoric and Writing Studies. Masters in Comparative Literature. Masters in English. Masters in Sociology. Masters in Economics. Masters in Anthropology. Masters in Women's Studies. 
master's in political science, and master's in geography. Uh, Mr. President, I have the honor to present the candidates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree. They have been recommended by the faculty and graduate council to receive their degree as listed in the commencement program. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please be seated. <clears throat> we will now proceed with the conferral of the bachelor's degree. In the College of Arts and Letters, undergraduates earn the Bachelor of Arts degree in Liberal Arts and Sciences. Candidates for the Bachelor's degrees will be presented by Dean Bouchard. It is my pleasure to introduce the December, May, and August candidates for Bachelor's degree. As I call your degree, please stand and remain standing. Bachelor's degree in Africana Studies. American Indian Studies. Chicano and Chicana Studies. Latin American Studies. <laughs> Linguistics. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Asian Studies. <laughs> Comparative International Studies. Classics and Humanities. <laughs> European Studies, French, German, and Russian. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> Religious Studies. Philosophy. Social science. History. Comparative literature. English. International Security and Conflict Resolution. <laughs> Women's Studies. <laughs> Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Studies. <laughs> Anthropology. Sociology, <laughs> Geography, <laughs> Sustainability, <laughs> Urban Studies, <laughs> Economics,
political science. International business. And last but not least, rhetoric and writing studies. Thank you. Please be seated. I'm delighted to recognize those students whose academic achievements have earned them honors for a standing scholarship. Students graduating with extremely high GPAs. Kun Laude, Magna Kun Laude, and Summa Kun Laude are listed in the commencement program. You may also identify those graduates who have earned our highest academic honor, summa cum laude, by the gold honors braid worn over their robes. Will all those students who are graduating with honors cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. The moment you've been waiting for. Members of the class of 2016, as incoming chair of the University Senate, I congratulate you on your achievement. President Hirschman, by action of the University Senate, the faculty approves and recommends awarding the degrees listed in the program. All candidates for the bachelor's degree, please rise. This is it. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the bachelor's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibility pertaining thereto. It is with great pleasure I present this diploma to symbolize the awarding of bachelor's degrees to the graduating class of the College of Arts and Letters. Congratulations. Now, it is my pleasure to, to introduce Mr. Osama al Khawaja, who has earned the distinction of Outstanding Graduating Senior in the College of Arts and Letters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I feel the love. <laughs> Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. I'd like to start by thanking uh, Provost in Wameka, uh, Dr. Bauber Michael, and Dean Bouchard. You guys are supposed to, supposed to applause. Uh, I'd also like to take this moment to thank my family, uh, specifically my parents, for helping me to get to this uh, stage in my life. I could work a thousand years and never be able to repay half of what they've done for me. I'd like to thank uh, Goats, give them a little shout out in the crowd. Uh, those are my homies right there and everybody um, that's been a part of this experience. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, the 53% of students who voted yes on divestment. So if you're out there, make some noise. And lastly, I'd like to thank uh, President Elliot Hirschman uh, for everything he's done for me and for doing everything he can to ensure that I am safe on this campus and that when organizations attack people who identify like me, he stands in defense of them. So thank you, Mr. President Elliot Hirschman. <laughs> On behalf of the class of 2016, I am proud to accept this diploma and bid a grateful farewell to SDSU. It is customary at this time, and I think this is like an old pagan ritual, but I don't know, but we gotta do it. So uh, at this time, we're gonna move our tassels from the right to the left. So everyone get ready, hold on, hold on, relax, relax. 
We'll all do it together. So on the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Please be seated. What a day of joy. What a day of pride and celebration. I hope that each of you will embrace the joy of this day and give thanks to those who have supported you. You've accomplished much, each and every one of you, and we are proud of you. I wish for each graduate today what I wish for my own grown children. I hope that you will continue to learn and to grow, that you will laugh and love, that you will embrace a noble purpose, and that ultimately, you'll develop to be the person you hope to be. I recognize that some of you may feel uncertainty at this point. This is perfectly natural. Every day of your life will bring new and sometimes unexpected circumstances. I can, however, assure you that no matter the twists and turns of the future, you are prepared, you've accomplished much here, and you have the capacity to learn and to grow and to meet challenges we cannot even envision today. As your life and your career develop, we hope that you will return often to your university, to your roots. We will most assuredly welcome you back. You graduate today with our affection and our respect, and we are deeply honored to have shared a part of your life and grateful for the part that you have played in the life of this great university. Congratulations, graduates. One of the finest recognitions of the College of Arts and Letters is to be selected from one school as the outstanding graduate. In turn, the students select the most influential faculty member of their academic career in a reciprocal recognition. Let me introduce you to these fine graduates and the professors that they have chosen. Please remain standing and hold your applause until all are introduced. American Indian Studies, Cassidy Erin Lynch Payne and Professor Margaret Field. All the applause. <laughs> Anthropology, Megan Fu and Associate Professor Frederick Conway. Asian Studies, Lawrence Dumaging Dampit and Professor Sandra Roritko. Chicana and Chicano Studies, Jesus Daniel Mendez Carvajal and Professor Isidro Ortiz. <laughs> Comparative International Studies, Lisa Shiroma and Assistant Professor Emily Shukman Matthews. Comparative Literature, Brandon Brooks and Professor William Nericcio. <laughs> Classics and Humanities, Joel Allen Booker and Assistant Professor Maria Ribakova. Economics, Samantha Cookson and Professor Scott McGann. All the applause. English, Alexandra Gardella and Associate Professor Claire Colquitt. European Studies. Emmeline Wilson and Professor Mary Wachup, who unfortunately was unable to be here today. Geography, Jose Gutierrez and Assistant Professor Anne-Marie de Banet. History, Emily Genovese and Associate Professor Walter Penrose. International Business, Michael Philip Tepper and Lecturer Christine Probert. International Security and Conflict Resolution, Taylor Zerby and Lecturer Alan Grab. Oh. Japanese, 
Caleb Lucas, an associate professor at Yuki Tajima, Latin American Studies, Yasel Wesson and lecturer Robert Guzman, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Studies, Oliver Taylor Zerwell and Professor Susan Caleb. Linguistic and Asian Middle Eastern Studies, Emmeline Wilson and Associate Professor Gregory Keating. Philosophy, Mitzi Miranda and Professor Mark Wheeler. Political Science, Osama, I'm going to do this right, Osama. Osama Al Kawaja <laughs> and Assistant Professor Cheryl O'Brien. Religious Studies, Naomi Mendez and lecturer Lori Stewart. Social Science, Sidney Wolf and Professor Eve Kornfeld. Spanish, Eunice Salis and Professor Alda Blanco, who was unable to be here today. Urban Studies, Frederick John Adesso and lecturer Thomas Herman. Sustainability, Anne-Marie Carignan and Associate Professor Vino Sassidaran. Women's Studies, Jessica Sabori and Professor Huma Gosh. We ask the parents and families of these outstanding graduates to rise and share their recognition. I'm very pleased to now introduce to your SDSU Alumni Association representative, Mr. Jason Faran. On behalf of more than 300,000 alumni of San Diego State University, I welcome you to our nationwide Aztec Alumni Network. It's a little crazy here. Uh, we're pleased to honor you on your commencement day, and it is now my great pleasure to take a moment to acknowledge that this year, your class, the class of 2016, has left an impressive legacy. Nearly 3,300 of you made a donation to support future students through student scholarships. We want to take a moment to recognize you for making a difference. You've been given a distinguished commencement cord to wear proudly on this special day. Will those of you wearing the red and white donor cords please stand up and be recognized? Thank you for helping future Aztecs achieve their dreams. As you transition from students to alumni, we ask that you always remember the importance of giving back and remaining connected. Mentor a student, hire an intern, come back to campus to support our students and our events. Your support is critical to the university's future. Wherever you, your success may take you, you'll always be an Aztec for life. Thank you and congratulations. Let us all stand now for the singing of our alma mater, led by Ms. Courtney Cattengill. The words of our alma mater may be found on page four of the commencement program. Thank you. Hail Montezuma, we with loyal hearts our homage pay. Proud, working, and glorying in the spirit of the Aztec name. To thee, San Diego, and the fond traditions old and new, a tribute raise of lasting praise 
and steadfast faith Hail Montezuma Please be seated. And now we have a very special video yearbook presentation to commemorate the exciting events of this past year. Wasn't that a great way to relive the year? <clears throat> Our thanks to all who have contributed to this commencement. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of the College of Arts and Letters, I extend best wishes to our graduates for fulfilling lives and successful careers. To the families and loved ones of all of our graduates, we recognize your love and support. We salute you and ask all parents, grandparents, spouses, children, and other relatives and friends to please stand and receive our sincerest appreciation. I now declare this commencement ceremony is concluded.